Back in 1970, I was a member of the Oakland Town Council. I served for, I believe it was 11 and a half years. Uh, one of my first uh, issues that I faced as a member of the Oakland Town Council, and I'm just a young guy then, and was the bypass, the Oakland bypass. Well, I, it, it was being proposed back then, and I did my homework in the new council, and uh, I interviewed a lot of people in town, a lot of business people. I went before the Open Merchants Association. I told them what was ahead of them on this bypass, what they, what the, was being projected. So anyway, the Open Merchants Association they voted against it. Well, I took that vote back to the Oakland Town Council at that time, told them that the Merchants Association had voted against it. I put the motion on the floor that the bypass be shot down back at that time. The Oakland Town Council agreed with me. We voted against it. That was the best motion I think I ever made the whole time I was on Town Council. I'm not only saying that, it's been proven. We have seen what's developed on 219. Quite a bit of business growth since the 70s. And I think that for that reason, it was, a good, it was a, the best motion that I made. It, ha, it has been proven. Uh, but look where we are today. We have a wonderful business district that's developed. You have to think about your tax base, you have to think about the revenue that's being produced from those business locations. Do you want to lose that? But also, you have to stop and think, where does that tax dollar come from? Large part, it's businesses. And the only thing I can say, people, I think most of the people here today are here because they want to hear about the bypass. They want to make comments about the bypass. I've heard very little about the bypass from the elected officials. Now, the town of Oakland this past summer, what they do? They close the uh, main entrance to the open parking lot off. Well, I know personally I helped to generate a petition to get it opened up again. And I know for a fact the merchants, the, uh, uh, the people at the Fresh Farm Market, the merchants downtown, stated that they had lost 30% in revenue as a result of it being closed. Well, looking at that, let's look at the bypass. What are we going to close if it goes through? And there's no doubt there are going to be business, businesses affected. There's going to be some closed. And look at the jobs that's being provided out 219. Let's think about that. The only thing I can say to you elected officials, especially in Oakland, shame on you. Yes. You need to get back to the drawing board. You need to take a look at 495. Yes. And and I, I mean a serious look. And I, I have a letter here that I'll submit to the uh, county commissioners before I leave. This very good letter was written back in the 70s. I ask you to please review that letter and study it and have some discussion among yourselves because I do believe it is the answer. I'd be more than glad to meet with any of you and discuss it further if necessary, and I'll let some other people speak. Thank you.